can bring you to the naked shoot. I don't know how to present. This is 33 my friends Guess what day it is Guess what day it is Guess what day it is It's my birthday It's my birthday Oh my god it's my birthday We love birthdays over here And most of all I love love my birthday What is up everyone Welcome back to the channel For those that are new here welcome And for those that have been here a while Welcome back in today's video, I'm sharing my birthday vlog after a very long time. My birthday is one of those times in my life that I love so much. I actually started celebrating my birthday last night because I went out with a friend of mine. We had dinner, then we went to the casino. It was really great. I realized I don't record a lot of things when I'm having fun, so I didn't really record the casino part. But we did go to dinner and it was nice. So yeah, enjoy the vlog. Yo, I love my birthday and even if it's a gloomy day, it has just started raining. I don't care. I don't care. We love sun over here, but we don't care. Okay? I've decided to have a jump pack day full of self-love activities. I live alone. I don't have that many friends in Montreal. All my friends are currently working, but... But... I don't care and I happen to love spending time with myself so instead of spending time in the house we are going to do self-love activities and this first activity I'm so excited my uber oh have you met Shaniqua you haven't met Shaniqua you guys oh for the people that follow me on Instagram you already met Shaniqua Shaniqua is the character I get into with this red hair I don't know who this person is she has wings she flies oh my god I don't know I'm in such a good I don't know if you can tell Anyway, is my Uber here? Is my Uber here? In four minutes. Let's go. I didn't think it was real. I didn't think it was real, so I applied and I'm like, there's no way these guys are going to call me back and then I receive a call back on Saturday. I'm like, it's real. Perfect. <laughs> and then I, I was actually hesitant to pay as well. I'm like, is it real? Yeah, a lot of people are like very doubtful of it, but it's a beautiful promotion. It is. It's a, so yeah. <laughs> Hair and makeup time. Makeup is done. Oh, who is this? Damn. Oh wow. Time for the shoot. I'm in the studio right now. They left me in here to change. I chose this color. I thought I was definitely going to choose burgundy, but yo, they have all these colors. And you get to choose whichever drip. I thought I was going to choose this one. And also this is nice. Also this green, my God. The girl said melanin, Look, everything looks good on melanin, but I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, I am ready. The next time you see me, it will be after the shoot. Because of course I can't bring you to the naked shoot but if you want to see the results they'll be on Instagram in a couple of days so follow me on Instagram I'll leave my handle on the screen five hours later so the photo shoot took all day it's currently 3 30 I want to go to the spa and thank god I didn't book it because I'm still here I got a rose that I'm so grateful for Man, if I tell you how much I spent today, but you know what? It's my birthday. I'm getting a whole ass portrait. Hmm. Just waiting for my Uber because, man, it's raining. It's a gloomy day. I don't feel like taking the metro. It is my birthday. So, I'm waiting for the metro. And Sorry, I'm waiting for my Uber just to go to get a massage. I'm not actually need them. I'm due for a massage because my leg doesn't feel good. I actually, And I have a workout later. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but yeah. 
we'll see all right massage is done i feel so great and relaxed oh my god i couldn't record because privacy but yeah i haven't eaten anything all day well yeah all day actually that is true i need to find some food i'm back home it's currently 6 p.m i miss my workout it's a gloomy day it's been raining i wish it was as sunny as it was yesterday yo i have some pain this part hurts so bad oh my god oh happy birthday princess happy birthday sweet one happy birthday precious daughter happy birthday to you i don't know if i still want to go out anymore i had plans to take myself out or go out with my friend but i'm just like mm, do i want to go out right now i'm too old for this shit i take that back i'm not that old i was out last night until 2 a.m i went to bed at 3 and i had to wake up for this shoot that was all day by the way oh my god your photo should stick forever anyway yeah and then i went to my massage so my body feels so relaxed too relaxed that i just want to stay home now but these are busting busting munchies 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 i'm so sad that i have to take this makeup off because i don't want to take it off yo it's only 8 pm and i've been dozing already but i had a I oh, know, busy night last night. Let me just sleep. Oh, and the lashes are coming off. Uh, she told me I can keep them and reuse them, so we are going to do just that. Oh, how do I do this? Imagine I go with one lash and the other. <laughs> Girl, oh my God. You know, I talk to you guys like you're just there with me. I can't wait for Izzy to come. Oh, this one is very tight. This one. Ooh. Oh. I'm still cute. I'm still cute even without the lashes. I'm still cute. Oh my god. Ah! Bro, what is that? Ah! What is that? Something is up and I don't know what it is. Oh my god. Oh. This is 33, my friends. Pains in random places. Oh. I look good though, I look good. <laughs> oh, I lost the eyelash already. Where is the second one? Oh my god, where is the second one? everybody i'm still in a good mood like i told you my birthday is the whole month and last night i got the best present that i could ever get this birthday i watched i don't know have you watched the movie interstellar if you've watched that movie the dad in the story is in the spiritual world and he helps guide he is always guiding his daughter so ever since my dad passed away it's been seven months now i feel like i have a guardian angel and you know I got this stuff. This stuff. My sister came back from Uganda with the stuff I just got right now. My dad's book. And she was supposed to bring it here and then something happened. But now her husband came yesterday and he brought me all these things. I'm so excited. My dad's, my dad's book. It's even signed by him. A bunch of stuff from Uganda. Real organic nuts. You guys, you guys don't know what real food is. And real peanut butter that's not manufactured. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear me. Dear me. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. That's it. What are you going to say? <laughs>
about the art park? It's something that's such a large scale. I know, it's beautiful out here. Fiddy week coming soon. Fiddy week? Yeah, the artists draw on walls and everything, so the whole street is drawn on. It's really fun. What is this? <laughs> I'm so dumb. I put my camera on the bar. Is this a man or a woman? Hello people, guess who's here, yeah, guess who's here, yeah. Isabel, <laughs> I'm looking, I'm waiting for you to come out. Alright, where am I? Uh, uh, where are you? That's Isabel is over there, you guys. Ah! Hi, Isabel came to visit me for my birthday, you guys, I'm so happy. You know... I'm a homebody and every time I'm like I live in Montreal but I never get to explore but every time Izzy comes which is not that often I get to act like a tourist so we're about to do some tourist things and share with you some things you can do in Montreal this spring maybe yesterday what did we do yesterday we actually stayed home went out to eat it was a very chill night we're getting you know some quality time and today going to the streets let's go check out Izzy's outfit denim on denim and the background, her bed, and mine. Yo, we are twinning denim on denim. Hey. You guys are with me? No. Okay, you guys are by yourself? Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh, I think you're going to like the nugget. Oh, it's... So Isabel here is trying to convince me to go for speed dating. I'm going for speed dating tonight and for one hour and a half Izzy is willing to sit down and watch me speed date while she's doing nothing when she's the guest here. Mm -hmm. Izzy, explain yourself. Adventure. Huh? Adventure? Which adventure are you having? Adventure for you. I'm waiting for your adventure. That's my adventure. I'll live vicariously through you. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start? I got holes that I'm keeping in the dark. I got my niggas. We just came from the worst thrift store ever. Well, I wouldn't say the worst, it's just not for me. And yeah, we're walking down Saint Laurent looking for another thrift store because there's so many around here. And yeah, you're just coming along with us before the speed dating. They look like an Instagram model. <laughs> I don't know how to We're pose. done. We're done with you.
my friend told me you have about 500 whiskeys here. Yeah. Oh my God. Basically, we have five, uh, 400 and 30 behind the bar. And we have almost 200 here. I, live, I come from Alberta. That's where I live. Yep. Well, I don't come from there. I come from Uganda. Um, but I live in Alberta. So this is the dating. I feel the need to give you a speed dating summary because a lot of you guys on Instagram ask me what speed dating is. So basically what it is is that you apply and pay for it and when you get in there you have the same amount of boys to the same amount of girls. The speed dating I went for actually was having a conversation with one of the guys that I matched with and we realized I said it was a little bit racist, but when I told a friend of mine, he's like, you know how people like to be organized and they put oranges together, bananas together, apples together. He thinks that's what happened, but what actually happened is at the bottom was all the white girls and at the top was only black girls. It was so weird that they put all the black girls together. It was I thought it was going to be like mixed and everything, but it wasn't. So basically what happens is that you sit down, all the girls sit down and the guys come. You know like how you swipe? This time around it's swiping of guys moving from one seat to the next and the next. They only give you like five minutes to talk, which I felt like was not ideal. I would have preferred to talk to someone for a longer time and at the end of the thing, you're supposed to tick on a paper like if you like the person or not. And if you both match, they send you each other's contacts. Here is a problem. I forgot the faces of the people that I sat down and had conversations with. So at the end of it all, I ended up ticking yes on some people I didn't want to tick yes on, which is a whole other story for another day. This is not what we're talking about. But guess what? The best part of this is that I met a bunch of friends. I told you I got sat with a bunch of black girls. I met those girls, my friend. Luckily enough, two of them were from Rwanda. So Rwanda and Uganda, like neighboring countries and all them things. We went out, had a drink with them. I invited them to my party the next day which was a blast I partied with these girls three days in a row first was the speed dating second was my birthday party third we went for brunch I did. Big Harry. <laughs> right. Oh, I beg you. I beg Harry. You guys. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, I can see my boobs and I can see my plastic tape. Anyway. That's why you have to make sure whatever you're doing tonight. You're watching yourself. I'm watching myself. It's just watch like, other people's eyes. I feel like other people's eyes will tell you what's going on. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, it's still my birthday. Ten days later, and we're going out. Of course, and it is, is my, your birthday. It's my outfit. <laughs> I mean, this is like this chick. <laughs> are my eyes judgy? They are. <laughs> it's fine. I don't care. Are we? Is it a video? A video. <laughs> Yo, last night was wild. It was very wild. Let me tell you. Oh my god. <sighs> I never thought I'd be the person that lines up for food, but we are lining up for food. I've never been. Everybody who's been is like, oh, If it was up to Easy and I, we would walk to another place, but it's not, so we're here. This is the cutest thrift store, you guys. It's 
see? Oh my god. Okay. A set is $19. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's cute. So we finally made it to the thrift stores on Sunday and this was after my birthday so we're not looking for an outfit but Izzy was looking for something for her boo thing. So we went around. I enjoyed this thrift store window shopping because now I know a bunch of thrift stores that I want to hit up and they're not as far as I thought they would be. They're just close to my home. I'm going to make a video and show you guys this whole experience because I want you guys to explore Montreal with me. Anyway, we did go thrifting after brunch. I really wanted to go to karaoke and all that, but then Izzy and I had planned to do this TikTok, which was amazing because guess what? We ended up spending a lot of quality time together, like, you know, talking and doing all them things, them, and just doing activities that we did together because this was the dumbest ish we ever did. It took us like two hours to prep only to record like a 10 second video but it was fun i spent time with izzy which was great sorry guys oh <clears throat> you can't see my face but we are trying to do some up to no good really it's not you'll see oh wow total darkness wow party after party so we mash up the place okay let's first dress up Let me give you this one. Who called you that? 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 Who called you I am finally done celebrating my birthday because you know what? I over -parted. You know one day of partying can do wonders. You party for the whole season. I partied for, for the whole spring. Izzy is leaving, which means I have to go back to work. Izzy, say bye to the people. Bye. Bye, people. Bye. <laughs>